All right, what's up, everybody? Like and strive here, Driftwolf Gaming, and my good friends at Iron Tech Doll sent me another package. Uh, it just came in, hot off the presses. Uh, this is actually something that they have done for the first time, uh, so it's a studio exclusive for them. So let's see what's inside. So let's see. Again, lots of styrofoam, some air bubbles. Ah, oh, cool. They sent in another t shirt, double XL, which I think is pretty cool. Um, so that's nice. However, of course, again, the thing that I'm unboxing is naked, you know. We still have um, people that are lonely, people that don't have money for certain things, people that um, aren't as lucky as I am with a wife. We've been together for 18 years now. So things are going well. And on my YouTube channel, there's pretty much no shame because I just still like the manufacturing aspect of studios, in this case, Iron Tech Doll, which has always good, taken good care of me, making certain things. So I'm gonna grab the camera real quick so everybody can see how it's packed. So this is now all out in the air bubbles. So we have two heads here. This is of course a cleaning device, which we're gonna take out as well. Uh, this is a this is a wig, and then this of course is the whole thing again. There is a hook in there, a brush, a warming wand, a couple of extra things for their head, or maybe those are not on the head yet. Of course, your standard uh, things that you get when you order something like this. Now, again, I have to be careful. I need to get this out of the way as well. And then let's just try and open up the heads first. I do think it's good that there's not a, um, what you might call it, a sleeping bag around this. Uh, she has been transported on her side. All right, so I just put the camera on the couch. I know it's all very unprofessional. I have to see if I can open this up because I'm probably going to put a blanket around uh, the heads anyway. As you can see, no, no, it's not a melon. It is in fact, oh, it's actually very cold from transport still. It is a, I have to be careful with the eyes. There we go. It's a little green head. This feels very soft actually, which is very funny. So this is actually one of the heads that has been ordered, as you can see right here. So might as well just open up the second one as well, get these things away. I can probably save this, a little Batman visor. It was actually pretty cool. They asked me if they wanted uh, to do another collaboration, Iron Tech Doll. And um, they said, well, you had a couple of months ago, I had this idea. I asked them for a different color um, type doll because there are studios who are already doing that. And um, yeah, maybe I don't want to take too much credit for it, but maybe it was my idea that pushed them a little bit further to actually try and do this, which I think is really cool. This is actually the second head, uh, as far as I know, that they send me. They've also sent me this head. As you can see, it has implanted hair, which I think is actually really cool. Um, I have to be very careful. I might actually just grab a pair of scissors. All right, so that's all off. So here we go. This is the second head, which has implanted hair, which I think is actually really cool. Um, I have to turn the camera a little bit. There we go. How cool is that? So two heads, 
one with implanted hair and the other one just has a wig. That's actually, actually something that they um, um, asked uh, if I wanted another head. I said, well, it depends on what you want to do. So they said, yeah, we're just going to throw that in for you, which I think is really cool. So um, the idea was to either make something uh, blue, which was Avatar inspired, or something yellow like The Simpsons, or something green. And at the time when I was asking about them, uh, I thought green was funny, like an orc, uh, you know, World of Warcraft kind of inspired. But we actually went with an idea to make a small She-Hulk. So what this build is gonna be, is gonna be a small She-Hulk and I'm still waiting on the uh, outfit to come in. So again, this is a hard head. You can clearly see that when I'm trying to press it, it's not doing anything. This is soft. As you can see, it has, it leaves a little bit of a dent when I press it. It doesn't leave a dent in here, but I mean, you can see that it's more flexible, which I think is funny. As far as I know, the mouths don't do anything. Uh, it's completely, um, this is funny. It almost looks like uh, she ate green candy or something. It's like a weird green color. Let me see if I can show you guys that in the, uh, in the camera itself. Look, <laughs> that's funny. So that's probably how it looks when you don't coat it. Um, the cool thing is they have a, a color spectrum where you could uh, actually pick a specific color. And this is the green color that I picked. Uh, on camera, it looks a little bit lighter. Uh, in real life, it's actually a little bit darker, but I think it's cool because it pretty much resembles the, uh, the She-Hulk color. Um, again, if I can open it up a little bit, there you go. You can see a little bit of green color, of course, the feet and apparently the hands are going to be packed in like they always do. Yep. But yeah, you can see green, soft silicone. And then, of course, here we have her chest, which I need to be careful about. But yeah, let's just unpack her, put her on the couch and uh, put some clothes on, at least some simple things so we can see her um, sitting on the couch. All right, so this is the end result. Bear with me because I don't have any clothes that fit her because I don't have any small dolls. I did used to have a couple of them uh, back in the day when I bought them from uh, AliExpress to try and sell them, but those were of poor quality. But this, um, yeah, this looks really cool. She looks pretty much like a mini She-Hulk. Of course, it's not so difficult with having a doll that looks green. So her feet are closed. So they of course can't move, her toes don't do anything. Again, this is all nice that you can move that around. The toes, like I said, don't have any skeletons. Then we can go towards her hands. They do have these little wires in there, but I don't think you're, yeah, you're gonna be able to do a little bit of that, a little bit of bending, but I'd rather not. And of course, this is all just movable which is fine. Um, you can turn it around, which is nice. There's still some flexibility in there, even though it's a smaller doll, which I think, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. So again, there are people uh, who also don't have the money or the doll experience um, to buy a doll that's like past 35 or 40 kilograms. And this is the solution for them to buy a smaller doll. I know the community or other people, um, you know, they, they can frown upon this because it looks like, uh, like a kid, to say uh, the least. But I think, uh, especially regarding the chest size, and in this case, the color, um, it shouldn't be that much of a problem. Uh, again, this is an easy uh, solution for people who want to have something small, um, either as a companion or something else, if you know what I'm saying. Very easy to tuck away under the bed or just put into the closet or whatever, and it's very light as well. So that's pretty cool. Um, again, this is a very unique design for me. So this is going to be uh, in my uh, inventory, in my uh, little warehouse or whatever you want to call it, keeping it safe. And this is how she looks from the backside. Uh, again... Immaculate looks really nice. Just the mold is very good for these small little dolls. And of course, it's probably a lot easier to work with. Uh, she doesn't, like I said, she doesn't have anything moving parts except tilting the, the feet a little bit. But she has enough force to stand, as far as I know. She doesn't have those bolts, but she has like a complete 
uh, metal flap uh, where she can stand on inside the silicone which is good um, yeah like I said everything else looks really nice it's really a nice design and uh, yeah all we have to do now is uh, pop on the other head and see how it looks with the wig because those are as far as I know specialized uh, heads and wigs for these smaller dolls and she's around one meter uh, one meter tall so uh, yeah again really cool unique design and this is how she looks with the different head again this is a wig it snaps on in place which is nice because normally when you have bigger head dolls or just bigger dolls in general the wigs sometimes actually tend to slide off this seems to grip very well which I think is nice um, Iron Tech Doll actually was on the email with me and like I said asking for a second head um, they said we're gonna include that for you for your video uh, so you can see the difference between implanted hair and the wig normally I would say um, wigs are pain in the ass but this is really good design because it hooks on very well um, so yeah and again just the way that a little bit of a wavy look with the hair uh, makes it look pretty cool because She-Hulk of course has um, kind of like wavy hair um, of course there are multiple comic iterations where she looks different with her hair as well and her outfits and stuff like that but I think it's cool that you can switch around like that I do have to say that just the way that the uh, implanted hair looks on this doll even though it's just a little bit combed back right now because of the, uh, the ponytail um, the quality is also really good uh, I've been like moving it around a little bit I have not seen any hairs fall out yet so I think Iron Tech Doll is an amazing company who understands their profession and actually take great care um, in making something uh, quality wise so yeah that's just really cool uh, for a second there I actually thought her head was not lining up with her neck but the um, the thing that's inside the screw to say it like that you pop on the head like this you can just drop it down and then slam it a little bit down and it's gonna take um, uh, the connection towards her neck but um, it there was a little bit of spacing uh, like this so I had to just twist the head a little bit more to get it accurate so yeah it's just really nice the design is really cool They're very straightforward very client friendly um, user friendly and um, yeah I'm just really really happy with something this unique uh, especially as a first try from their company um, to send it to me for my YouTube uh, channel uh, again multiple viewers uh, might not be a big fan of this video uh, I know that there are a lot of people on the doll forum that really wanted to see this video and that's actually the people um, that I'm trying to uh, connect with but yeah uh, again really cool design the joints feel very um, feel very tight just moving the arm it's it's very hard which I think is sturdy which I think is nice this one as well as you can see but anyway, thank you guys and gals for watching this. Um, please leave a like and subscribe. Uh, that helps me out a lot. My channel is growing very slowly, but steadily. So uh, I thank you all for your patience and your, uh, your opinions as well. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, have a good one.